Mind you, we swore an oath of loyalty but the rest of There's not more speeches in the Senate that will change the world. Rome is dying. My legions are mustering as swiftly as possible. Senators, welcome back to episode 14 in my Stellaris Roman Empire campaign. In the last episode, we achieved quite a lot. We further expanded our borders out west, securing new systems, resources, and planets to colonize. We've actually set up several colony ships which are en route to their destinations now. We also reviewed one of the Senate votes, enabling us to propose the Migration Treaty Proposal to the Kosher Trade League, to which they accepted, allowing Mari species and a human species to now travel freely between the two empires. Also took part in a galactic community vote, of which we are supporting in an economic reform right now. And we also re uh, reinvested a lot of our technological research into research projects in the Situation Log, netting us some very interesting technological boons, including the ability to now research jump drives, a dangerous and unpredictable technology that would be very costly to research, but potentially very beneficial. We also, in this situation log, uncovered the truth behind the Sentinels, that they are indeed living beings, not just statues. And they are seemingly protecting some sort of burial ground, providing us with religious unity to the planet on Elysium as well as several defense armies, which I didn't actually originally take a look at. We can look at that later. And finally, we also studied many archaeological dig sites, completing two more of them, one of which gave us a bunch of engineering technology, but another which actually allowed us to rejuvenate, repower, and utilize for ourselves a battleship. I've renamed the battleship Augusta, after the planet that was recently raided about a decade ago, almost to the day, or to the month at least, from the original, from the second Vazarin raid, of which there is another going on right now in the Tyrene Republic, our vassal. So that is pretty much the main stuff that happened in the last episode to catch you up. So we currently have that battleship sitting up in the Rodan system. We have finished the excavations at Grunthirst and Rodan itself. We have construction ship on the way out to get the rare crystals out here. We can see the Vazarin hegemony uh, raiding, essentially raiding our vassal, throwing yet further insult to the Roman Empire. And we are pretty much helpless to do anything about it. Now, if we combine that battleship with our best of the best from our fleet, perhaps we may fight them back. For now, what I'm going to be working on is trying to just increase our fleet, uh, increase, the, increase the scope of it, the power of it, the technological boons that we have. We've, of course, reinvested into Tiberium. We've put down a central research bureau. We're now getting lots more research than we were before. It's going pretty fast. And I would like to prepare for an invasion against the Norilga Swarm, personally, because this is just, as they say, free real estate. Uh, not only that, but they are a threat. These guys are a hive mind, and we need to end that threat. And as we push out, we grab the territories as we as we push out, like in real time. It's a total war CB to end the uh, to contain the threat. Now we could potentially end the war before we fully contain it, and just try to grab a bunch of systems if we could. So that's what I'm going to be working towards. I don't know if we'll end up going to war, but that's what I'm working towards. This might all be moot if the site 10667 override attack us, or if we keep getting these 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 raids from the Vazar and Hegemony are getting dangerously frequent now. You know, in the last three or four years alone, we saw them appear in the Mari, in the Norilga territory, in the Sight territory, in the Tyrene territory, and in my own. In the last ten years. In the last four years, probably just in those other countries and these other empires. So they are they seem to be upping their frequency, now appearing in two places at once. Uh, I think. So it's dangerous. We gotta prepare. 
so it might be a complete waste of time sending something into the Nerilga Swarm. Vice versa, it might be a complete waste of time defeating a raiding fleet. Who knows how many more that can just come through portals. We need to get to the bottom of it. Okay, so let's let time play. We're just going to keep an eye on the economy. Keep an eye on growing our fleets. Right now, I've reinvested all of our alloys, 2,000 of them, basically, into new uh, star bases. And at the moment, we're kind of colonizing a, colonizing a planet up here. We have construction fleet uh, ships doing their thing. Expanding our borders, getting the last of these systems out west. And yeah, that's pretty much it. There's not really much else to report other than that. I don't think. Alright, I'm going to keep the time up to, uh, to fast. The speed up to fast. Let's close down those shipyards and things for now. Just keep an eye on the planets. Something I'm really happy with right now. The stability on these planets is extremely high. 88, 76, 68, 74, 76, 56 on Augusta. They are low on amenities. We are now finally repairing the commercial zones uh, as we have reached uh, the threshold for expansion. 82, 82 on Colonia Aegyptus. And of course, we are harvesting the Titans there. Hopefully in a sustainable way. And of course, our governor down here, Septimus Silius, has agrarian upbringing, so even more food from jobs in the two Gaia worlds that are out here that are both specializing now in food. This is food central. This is the breadbasket, officially now, of the Empire. And that can actually lead us to probably demolishing a lot of food and agriculture back on Terra to free up jobs and things like that for other work, uh, which you might consider doing. Because we're reaching max districts soon. These will start being converted into city districts, I would imagine. In fact, let's start doing that. Why not? It might create some unemployment, though, because a agriculture district is going to give us two farmer jobs, whereas a city district only gives us one clerk job, so we're creating one unemployment. But I'll probably offload that unemployment to Elysium, which is in desperate need of extra pops. We're growing them very fast here, though. 4.84 per month. At least that feels fast to me. All right. Okay, that's a pretty succinct catch up, I think. So yeah, we're really just kind of now watching to see. So that raid is over. The Tyrene are reeling from that. They didn't send their fleet in and get destroyed. Their fleet's defenses breached. Hostile troops landing. Well, it looks like we've got a problem to contend with. In a disastrous series of events, the scientists on Colonia Aegyptus have enraged the indigenous titanic life. Huge creatures are rampaging across the colony, smashing everything in their path. This is terrible news. Titanic beasts are killing everyone. Alright. Okay. Enraged Guardians. Enraged Titan, Enraged Titan, and Enraged Guardian. That's extreme. Okay, so over at Terra. The armies are waiting here. Embark Queso Tadius. He's going to have to embark these troops. And we're going to send them down this way. Time is of the essence. Go! Go! Will 12 troops be enough to deal with their three? They're going to take over the planet. So it looks like... It looks like our choice has not been the best. Now, we were harvesting them probably fine, but I, I was researching them in the research project. And that seems to have led to this. And our defense armies, Limitani XXVII 27 is getting wrecked. And 28 is also going to get wrecked. They're putting up a great fight. You can imagine it on the ground. These are barely... Actually, they're not putting up a great fight. They're getting decimated. There's barely anything happening to the enraged titans. You can imagine what's going down on there on the ground. I've been debating this with some people in my Discord about how many people are in an army and in a legion. I I thought, personally, a million people um, would be in each army. For instance, I know a legion is like four to 5,000 troops or whatever. But, for instance, on this transport fleet, if you're taking over an entire planet, I would just have to imagine that there's at least 12 million troops in this army. Like, that's a considerable-sized army that can conquer a planet. And I think that's a pretty realistic number. I like the number 1 million. I think it makes sense. So on a galactic scale, I think these armies should represent a million people. So at the moment, the Titans are wiping out 2 million defense armies. A uh, small town garrison, if you will. <laughs> planetary garrison. This is going to take Our a... planetary defenses have failed. Yeah, we failed to ward off the invaders there. Now, what we could do on Colonia Aegyptus... 
This is a Titan Hunter. Oh yeah, we have Titan Hunter jobs. And what are they doing? Supposedly keeping the Titans down. No, they're just getting the food. Wow, they're still working their job. That's great to see. Hmm. Yeah, this planet's in trouble, obviously. It's going to take a long time for our armies to get down here. Of course, we are waiting on the technology for better hyperdrives and better... Uh, what do you call it? Thrusters. Because right now, they're just using level 1 both. So, those ships are on the way down. What we can do is, at Gaia itself, start recruiting re uh, fresh legions. We'll link them both up at the same time. We need only stamp our feet and legions will spring up all over Gaia. We can raise legions from the new bowel. We can raise legions from Fajaisvlin. What the hell is that? And raise human legions. I think we know what we're going to do. We're just going to keep raising them until the army gets there. What is Fajaisvlin? Oh, look at this. We've got a Mari on the income on uh, coming in. The first Mari pup is on its way in here. We'll have to check their species again and see what they're going to be good at. So we are going to be a multi-species society, as per the votes and the Senate. How long is this going to take us, by the way? Estimated arrival date is 2273. It's going to take about two years and two months from now. Ah, energy's gotten a little low. Construction online. Let's keep expanding out. I was worried that they might actually... I don't know if they're intelligent or if it's just titanic life. So the planet is occupied by titanic life. We're just going to have to quell this little uprising, I guess. An enraged guardian, an enraged titan. Just for comparative stats, their damage is 3 to 6. Their health is, a, is 1,600. And their morale is 600. So let's compare that to what we're raising. Our health is 400. So their health is four times the amount of ours. Their damage is between three and six. Ours is between 2.3 and 4.7. So yeah, they're strong. We need a lot. New technology discovered. We need a lot. So we've just completed hyperlane breach points, which we read before. Experimental subspace navigation. Yes, I want that because that will allow our scientists to do a jump to like this area out here. Although I don't know if there's much left for us to get, but it will allow us to go further. Is there anything else I'd like to get? I don't know about jump drives. I haven't had a chance to read any comments or anything like that yet. But I have a feeling people are like, you gotta get that now. <laughs> research complexes. I think that's what I'm gonna go for. It's the cheapest tech and it's level two research. Let's go. It's also computing, which is sped up because of uh, Numerius Trebatius. The other technology we just finished researching was clearing tile blockers. Uh, let's continue that trend and uh, clear the climate control network, so the massive glacier tile blockers. Do we even have any of those? I'm assuming so. so we'll clear the swamps now. I actually don't think we do. Oh, that's weird. It normally only gives you the tech option if you, you know, have to clear those. So we don't really need them. Uh, defense army damage is kind of useless now. All right, let's go with habitability. I'll raise the habitability. All these planets, these continental worlds, the habitability is 80%. If we bring it up to 85, it's kind of nice. O occupation garrisons plus two. That might be nice after the fact as well. Let's go with this one for now. Habitability. All right, we're on the way. Going to be keeping an eye on the stuff down here. This sign ship isn't doing anything anymore. We have to figure out somewhere to put her. I just don't really know what to do. If we get the subspace navigation... God, there's all these special projects. This is why I want to go in here. There's so many things for us to do in the Norilga territory. We're going to leave our, our, our ship here. We might go on another one later. We've got a free scientist right now. You can only assist research with one at a time. 
All right, we've created our unemployed pops, so let's resettle on Elysium. That's going to make that planet quite happy. Receiving transmission. A defensive pact invitation from the Mari, the Koja Trade League. Someone goes to war with them, they go, we go to war with them. Vice versa, someone goes to war with us, they come to our aid. We would not want to drag your empire into a conflict, but it's clear that we would benefit from joining together against possible threats. I do tend to agree with that, just as a defensive ally. They are one of the strongest fleets in the game that we saw before in the campaign. The Dagateni are going to be weak. They're already... Yeah, that's fine with the Dawenu. I don't necessarily know their relationship with anyone else. I mean, the Dagateni might attack them. That's not a threat to us. I think this can really only benefit us. I do kind of believe that. Because if they get attacked by the Dacorite, which is that possible? Seems like it could be. They have a CB on each other. At least they do on... Mari have one on them. If they did get attacked, then we would come to their aid. This isn't a big deal, but if we get attacked by the Sight or the Norilga, they'll come to our aid, and we'll have everything to gain, because we'll be the ones taking territory. I feel like, and we're the ones next to them. So, I'm going to say yeah. I think it's uh, important to have an ally. And I think they're a good one to have. So I accept. Costs us a little bit of influence to do that. Our alloys are coming up pretty nicely now. I Oh yeah, I meant to say, I changed um, this civilian industry into an alloy foundry. So that's removed a lot of the consumer goods we we're making here. Because I just wanted to be pure alloys on this uh, planet. Uh, so we've now got 17 metallurgists here. So until we get more pops, I'm not going to upgrade it. But on the industrial world, this place is about to get two new pops. Or when it does, then they'll I'll fix this, the um, consumer goods. All right, good. All right, not a big problem so far. Just a bit of a... <laughs> just a bit of a setback on Colonia Egyptus. It's not easy taming titan titans. Some people said to name this planet Thamus, I think. Construction online. After a titan. Hey, we got orbital habitats. Nice. So let's have a look at what it would take to make one. So we want to see... Build a megastructure, a habitat, 1,500 alloys. It's actually not nearly as expensive as I thought. In my head, I thought it was 20,000. What was wrong with me? What am I thinking about? Okay, 1,500, that's not bad at all. It's the influence more than anything. But if we set up one of these, I think it'll improve our chances of getting megastructure tech. I don't know if habitats are, they don't count with that or not. Well, maybe you guys can let me know, or I might look it up myself. But before we build one, I'll, I'll look into that. But I think it helps, I think it does. Exotic gas refineries. So this will allow us to have gas refining jobs on planets. I thought we already had that. I guess not. No, we have the we have the technology that lets us harvest it in space. That's it. Yeah, so we need to get that then. I, I, I mean, I'd love to get cruisers and stuff, but I think this is more important if we want to further our tech. Metallurgist then for alloys, and then probably cruisers. And then this other tech. There's so much stuff to get. So let's go with the gas refinery. So exotic gas refining. And our genius, Numeria Cutelia. Cutelia is on it. Alright, where's the army now? They're just about, what I would say, is about halfway. Why are they taking here to here to here to here and down? Let's go this way, actually. I'd rather them go this way. Link up with this other army first. I guess that was technically the faster way, but... We're still creating new transports and armies out above Gaia. Establishing colony. We've actually just stopped, uh, so let's keep going. FJAS. I need to find out what they are at that species. What the hell are these? We have them as slaves, and we have one. Allegedly. Oh, it must have come to us from... That's something that's so interesting that I completely missed out on when talking about migration. That we can get pops and, uh, yeah, species from... Oh, by the way, these are now enslaved as well. This is all so complicated. I feel like we shouldn't be enslaving them. Surely they don't like me doing that. Uh, so let's see. Their opinion of me. 
Slavery policy is negative 30. It doesn't seem to care that that's just the policy. They don't seem to necessarily mind that I'm enslaving their species. But yeah, so what I'm trying to say is that they could have multiple species within their lands and they're sending them to us. So this Vajazavlin, or whatever, has come to us potentially from them. They've been uplifted. We didn't uplift them. So yeah, so lots of species could be coming through the Mardi now. That's another consequence we didn't really talk about, but there you go. I'll keep them as slaves for now. They're not really good for much, though. Natural intellectuals. I mean, to be honest, they shouldn't really be slaves. They should be doing society uh, research if they're so smart. What are we? We're natural engineers. And then the Mari are thrifty, tidy. Thrifty is trade value from jobs. I really find it hard to think, like, where slaves... Slaves will be appropriate when we attack an empire that's, like, an enemy of ours, I think. But, you know, you guys still have the vote on the new battle thing. That's going to be coming up soon. But yeah, I'm going to I'm gonna personally say that these guys are going to get residence. Because that was kind of the intent with the um, migration treaty. Construction online. All right. Transfer fleet's on the way. This has just been constructed. Let's continue the uh, getting of stations and research stations and all of that stuff. Okay, non-aggression pact invitation between the Veldenor and Site Ten Sixty Six Seven Override. That's very interesting as well. These end up these could have end up being allies and things like that as well. Non-aggression is the first step. First step to an alliance, I would say, between these two. The Norilga Swarm won't be allies with anyone though. How's our um, big fleet out here? We've just stationed it at Ashamanax. Ashamax system. Let's go down to Augusta. Oh, that was so loud. Alright, anyway. This ship is so cool. Our battleship. It's uh, regained its strength now, by the way. It's up to 3.3 thousand fleet power. Oh, yeah. Something else I had done. I haven't finished yet, though is I've created a class called the Pompeii class because these ships are outfitted. So I created a new sh a class called Pompeii. Basically a standard, pretty much a standard ship set, except they have a kitchen sink, which for some reason gives piracy suppression. So the fact that the, we have now specialized ships just dealing with for dealing with pirates, I thought it'd be a good idea to set up two of these. So I've got another one here that we need to make. Uh, so their home base is just gonna be Saul or Terra even. Start building that fleet, and then send this one to upgrade and put them back on patrol. So then we'll have two pirate, uh, anti-pirate fleets patrolling both areas, Please keeping upgrades. suppression down. Uh, archaeological site pending. The broken world of the Astonine continues. All right, the excavations carried out by our archaeologists on Thule have somehow activated several ancient sentinel droids. Luckily, Marcellus or Sivius and a nearby security escort managed to neutralize the hostile robots before they could become, before they could seriously injure someone. That was close. All right, that was good. I'm assuming that could have gone either way. Man, breakthrough chance is so low. It's gonna take so long to build up this place. This seems to be a really difficult site to break through. All right. Right. So on Cicero, we need to move pops here now. Resaddle. From Terra. Boom. And one more pop and we get another slot, and then we can build our commercial um, our civilian industries, fixing our consumer goods. New technology. Energy discovered. being a bit low is a bit of a strange one though. The galactic market has been established. The dubious Xenos of the Tyrene Republic have Wow, the Tyrene Republic have established a marketplace for the trade of alien goods. While we're naturally loath to take part in this exchange, the option is available to us. That's super interesting. So they are the ones that got the galactic market founded. Do we get to see that here? I'm pretty sure you do see it. I would imagine it's over Tyrene. Research project concluded. Uh, the exile has grabbed the Zulkor swarm. Zulkor are swarming insect analogs, usual, unusual both for their large size and the fact that they are lithovores, feeding off rocks and minerals in the ground. 
One of the shuttles belonging to the Hephaestus sustained serious damage when, in it, it, when it inadvertently passed through a large swarm of, and several Zorkors began to feed on its hull. The construction of special containment facilities required to hold these creatures has already begun at the Museum of Exobiology on Terra. So that's, we're collecting spe uh, species from all over the galaxy. I think we're pretty much done with all the ones we can get out this way. So I'm just going to leave the exile onto Auto Explore for now. I think he's going to die if he goes in there. We'll just let him go in anyway, see what's in there. Um, what were we just looking at? Something up here. Oh yeah, so I'm trying to find the galactic market. Now normally, it doesn't have an icon. It's just like an, it's just a name of floating text. It says like galactic market. Is that it? Nope. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not sure where it is then. But apparently they have it. It could be on one of their other planets. Yeah, there it is. Galactic Market Station. While nominally amf uh, amorphous and independent of galactic geopolitics, many of the admi administrative functions of the galactic market are physically located in this station. So that's sort of like the stock exchange. So that's pretty interesting, like, if we were to integrate these guys, we may get the market, I suppose? But then maybe it gets, like, thrown back out to be proposed again? Not too sure how that works. It's interesting that they got it. I can't believe they got it. One of the weakest empires in the entire galaxy? Really? Okay. Uh, Terraform is, like, such an interesting one to go for, but we just don't need it. I'm gonna go with more tile blocker stuff, so this one, subterranean colonization. Exile is now level 7. Wow. The Exile would do way better if we could get him. Yeah, you know what? We're gonna... I don't normally like to do this, like I said before. But we're gonna swap him out. Swap him out now. His job is kind of done. Let's get uh, Septima back out here. She's been away for a while, so we can theorize that she's made her way out here. And he's gonna head up the excavation here. He doesn't have long left. Archaeology excavation speed is 25%. I didn't even realize that. Let's go. He's got 10% chance of breakthrough. The other had negative 20, so at least that's something. The next thing that's up is the Pan Galactic Recycling Initiative. Why is the Balmacossa creep here? What does this mean? Are they the ones are they the ones that propose this? Maybe. That might be why. Ah, yes, they are. So anyway, this will give them diplomatic way from economy is reduced. I really don't like this one. I would be opposing this one if I could. Consumer goods being reduced is great, but I want the diplomatic way from economy. So when it goes through, we'll see what happens, but all of these early ones are probably gonna probably gonna go through. Excuse me. All right. Are we nearly there? The army is nearly there. New technology discovered. Wow, we're making army so fast. Oh yeah, that's because legions get created in 30 days. They're awesome. I forgot how fast they are. That's probably where all our energy is going, thinking about it. These, uh, these legions are expensive. They're at one energy each, I think. Research complexes has been unlocked. We could actually go for the next one straight away if we wanted to. Or we could go with antimatter reactors. Shield capacitors. Antimatter reactors leads to more technologies within power, different fields, power generation. Okay, let's go with this one then. It does take a while though, 23 months. What are we up to now? The Legions 9. Construction online. So yeah, two more I think is a good number to get, and then our other ones are here. They're gonna merge up. And then we're gonna get ready for the invasion of this. Oh my god. The amount of stuff that kicks off. Broken world I can't believe he broke through. He had a 10% chance in the exiles after doing it. Wow. Our team our, our team leader picked up a poster from the garbage can in the room with the projector. A clear evidence. But what? Our team leader picked up a poster from the garbage can in the room with the projector. A clear evidence points... This is... Sorry. <laughs> I get really frustrated when I can't read things properly. A clear evidence, the points, to the division of Astonite Empire was on the poster. What is that sentence? 
I think I know what he means, or she means, whoever wrote this. Anyway, if you see this poster, come to X194 redacted, redacted coordinates immediately. And be aware, do not trust anything around you, even if it's your family, friends, or anyone else, don't trust them. It took much efforts from our scientists to restore the coordinates of the poster and succeeded. It would, it would serve us well to reach this place. Okay, well, we've got coordinates for a place that we should go find. I'm guessing you just remove the word A. So clear evidence points to the division of... I don't even know what I even... See. I don't know what that sentence is. Maybe I'm... I'm, I'm maybe I'm, I'm going to say I'm crazy and I can't read it properly. Maybe it's written great. I don't know. But it seems like it's written wrong to me. I just can't even read it. Uh, anyways... Situation I would love to write outdated. some anomalies for this game. I know this is this is probably one of the modded ones, I'm guessing. But my god, I would love to write my own little excavation chain. Or design one. Uh, anyways, that's neither here nor there. So we discovered a new site, Rebels of the Astonine. So there's a new planet that we have to go to. And it's in the Wasat system. Excavate. Let's go. This place seems incredibly quiet for a military center of rebel forces. So apparently those coordinates were enough to find it. I thought they were going to say we didn't have a, enough coordinates to find it, but it seems like it's fine. All right. The armies are linking up. New technology discovered. Final one has joined us. We now have 23 legions. 23 million soldiers, like I said. That might seem egregious, but considering we have billions living on these planets, I don't think so. And this is our force that are going to go to take out the Titans. The Titan killers. There is going to be losses. Queso Tadius of Tyrene Republic fame is leading the charge. A new faction is recently gaining traction. They call themselves the Xeno Reform League. Have to check them out in a bit. Exotic gas refineries are done. Let's get the thrusters. Ion thrusters. Let's go. These should have the second hyperdrive already. These get upgraded automatically. Alright, off they go. Now, the other thing I haven't done yet is have our little fleets upgraded. Yes, they are now the Pompeii class. Excellent. Oh, I just realized. They need their hyperdrive 2 on. Let's just do it on the Pompeii ones. They're the only ones that are upgrading right now anyway. So upgrade, we'll put these new hyperdrives on. Fleets enhanced. It's as easy as that. And then we'll patrol to Sol. Great. And then similarly, we're going to get a new general, a new admiral. Anything for piracy suppression? No, but sublight speed is increased. Let's go with Metia Pontidius. She's going to lead this fleet. This is going to be Patrol 2. We need better names than these, but you guys let me know. I can't think of anything <laughs> for just, like, small piracy patrol. And then we'll upgrade this ship. Fleet Done. Enhanced. And now this one has to go all the way down to Gaia for piracy suppression. Okay, cool. Let's go. System surveyed. New technology discovered. Man, our tech is just flying now. Flying by. Let's clear these tiles. We have plenty of them, actually, that can be used. Dangerous wildlife removal. So let me just go through these, some of these things really quickly. I think there's a few to get rid of. A deep sinkhole. Let's remove it on Brigantium. Oh, this place is... This colony has been set up now. Okay, well, with the... With Brigantium set up, that means we're going to distribute the new bowel life seeding. And there we go. From Savannah World into Gaia World. With several new pops on the planet. We're going to resettle them, though. Send them over to our Agri world on Gaia. So, Brigantium. All right, cool. One, two, three, four. 
So all of the new Baal reside on Gaia still, and in terms of pups, they are all enslaved and working the farms right now. Along with their uh, so smart, the Jasvelin. I would, you know what I would like to do with these guys? Just sell them, to be honest. Slave market. So here's the slave market. We could buy any of these pops right now. So where are they? They're on Gaia. Oh, this is to buy. I want to sell. Estimated price 500. Put it on the market. No vote for that, guys. That's a Empress Appia direct mandate. Uh, or directive, I guess. All right, let's continue following the fleet. All that epic music was interrupted, I'm afraid. Looking pretty cool. Looking pretty good. And when this technology finishes, we'll be going even faster across these places. Let's check the jump time now. Last time it was about 10 days to charge up and then about four or five to get across the lane. So it's the 16th now. Dude, that took even longer. So what the hell do these even do? Hyper jump charge time. Okay, maybe it's dependent on the length of the jump. I don't know. Maybe it's just the fact that they're transports. But that took longer than the first charge. And the first charge is using level 1s. So they're 25% faster at jumping, allegedly. <laughs> Slave was sold for a thousand energy? Yeah, I think I made the right call with that. Resolution passed in the galactic um, community. So does it tell you? Uh, it was the resolution for regulatory facilitation. Which I believe was this one. And that's active now. So diplomatic weight from economy has been increased by 20%. And diplomat and worker pop resource output as well. So it's interesting. The next one that's about to come up. Oh yeah, is the one I'm, I'm pushing for. Nice. Hopefully this one comes up next. It's pretty close. Things have shifted around now because of that 20% weight from economy. So now if you have a strong economy, you're going to be further up in the rankings. I was fifth. I'm fourth for the galactic community now. The Maori, my ally, my defensive ally, are second. All right, we've arrived. So. Colonia Egyptus, we're going to land and take back what's rightfully ours. We created this world. Pirates sighted. Oh, God. Is there no relent relenting to this stuff? With its vulnerable and unprotected trade route, the Bernard Star system has attracted a large number of ne'er-do-wells. And following a recent power struggle, these criminal degenerates are now sufficiently organized to operate a significant pirate armada. They're using this ragtag fleet to intercept as much trade in the system as they can. 900 strength. Wow. Oh, God. Our patrol is going to get destroyed. Let's get Gaius Menatius onto this arm, onto this fleet. This fleet's gonna head north and deal with that. That's a pretty far away, though. They have to stay here if they want to get their uh, upgrades. All right, let's auto upgrade these guys just for now. They have everything they need. Good. All right, they're being upgraded. There's not much we can do with that pirate fleet. Let's get ready to follow the invasion. Station under attack. You can see the little ships going down. There they go. Commencing planetary invasion. All right, big battle. Queso Tadius. It's just fighting the Titans. Seems like we're making short work of them, which is good. The legions, pull those legions out. Okay, so what are you doing? Letting them take a lot of damage in there. Hopefully none of them die and they get sent to the reserves. Holy crap, they're gonna die. Oh my god. What the hell, Queso? <laughs> there we go, that's what I'd like to see, some disengagement. 
I laugh, but you know, I would say 1.8 million lives have been lost so far. To some of these giants. The Order of Enlightenment made peace with the Valon. I'll stop fleets and an invasion. That's our invasion. So Bernard Star has gone rogue. I'm surprised because we just went through there with this fleet, but it must not have been enough. Now piracy suppression, as they're going through, is actually pretty good. Yeah, we're gonna have to clean this place up. This uh. Barnard Star connection has been totally severed, which is hurting the economy now quite badly. Construction online. All right, let's check back in on the planet. They're about to die. Mining station lost. I sort of feel bad for them. The Titans. Research station lost. But it has to be done. They need to learn their lesson. There's devastation the world because of this. Stay down there for now. All right, things are back to normal, I guess. Fleet upgraded. Our fleet's been upgraded. Mobilize. How long until the um... the thrusters are just done? So let's just stay put for another second. Let's get those thrusters. That'll help our speed a lot. New technology. All right, there we go. That's the thrusters done. So let's auto upgrade these guys as well. This would be a lot easier if it didn't reorder them every time you upgrade them. It's annoying. Uh, but you can also see that I've been... Oh, it didn't save. Oh, in my own time, I in between sessions, I experimented around with this. Maybe I didn't save it. I never used it like in battles or anything, but I, re I took the time to read all of these things. It seemed really interesting. Like the Velites, the artillery ship here, I thought it would be good if we could stick them on uh, artillery range 100. So ships will move up to the shown distance 100 and then hold position and fire at the enemy. So that, that's pretty good. So let's save that. Hopefully it remembers. Maybe it, I, I feel like I would have saved it, but I don't know. Maybe I didn't. Uh, but anyway, so let's try that out. Upgrade. A lot of ships being upgraded. So once these are done, they're getting their new thrusters. I'll be interested to see how fast they can get up there then. Should be a little bit faster. So ion thrusters are done. No new thrusters to get right now. I want to get the crystal infused plating. This is going to give us ship hull hit points. Straight up increase. No, let's go with fusion missiles because we have uh, new missile ships now, let's, but they still, they're still they still using level one. All right, Colonia Egyptus now has an unemployed pop. So five pops here. I don't know if any, uh, we're growing one of these. Can we just turn, actually they sell for a lot. It's not too bad, but I feel like species wise, we can just, yeah, they're just coming in for migration. I was gonna say we could just disable them, but I guess we can't. Right. Yeah, we're becoming a multi-planet, a multi-species society now. Even if just three or four, it's beginning. So this is going to be a food wor world as well, right? So build some food districts. The science ships don't have anybody on them. The ones that do are doing stuff. The construction ships have sort of stopped now for a while. We have the influence to keep pushing out. So let's do it. All right, good. Who died? Scientist Mayo Helvius died. Shame to say, I don't know who that is. Uh, necessarily. So we need. So oh no, I remember. Her. Oh yeah, she was our psionic. That is sad. She's been with us for a long time. So this guy is good at specializing on industry, but we already have someone for industry down there. So, I mean, but she also gets 10% just research speed in general. So maybe we'll swap these around. That just seems to be a little bit better because he's got rocketry so, or propulsion, I guess. So they're doing that right now. She's just got spark of genius. So that's always going to be a 10% to whatever she's on. Thank <laughs> you. 
Wow, even just with the upgrade, I didn't think much else was being... I mean, other than thrusters, we're actually getting a lot... Oh, I forgot to upgrade the destroyers. God damn it. All right, there we go. So we'll continue that in a second as well. Eight ships will be upgraded for negative 19. Not sure how we get anything back, considering we're putting new thrusters on them, but okay. Fleets enhanced. So that's it. Let me just double check. But I think we've now got level two thrusters, level two hyperdrives on everything. Yeah. All right, cool. 4.2 strength. Getting a little bit better, a little bit thicker. Let's go engage these guys. These pirates. Let's check out the pirate ships. System scan complete. It's a thick pirate fleet. It's not just some small... I mean, it's obviously generally kind of small, but it's there's lots of ships there. Pretty bad technology. Yeah, our piracy suppression would have been good enough, but I just don't think I was quick enough. It's good enough out on the right side. Between Augusta. Maybe we could do it with one or two more ships, it seems. So, oops, wrong button. Let's do that. Patrol one. Let's increase. Construction online. All right. Energy is tanking now because we're moving our fleet and obviously our trade is cut. So half of our trade goes to energy and half of it goes to consumer goods. There's 11 trade value down here. Sure, let's make a start. Point. Actually, hang on, before I commit to that. We've upgraded a few of these. This can just gather more. So that's one, two, and then we need a third one. So that's going to get loads of trade. All right. Just increasing our defenses of certain star bases. Technology is improving. Arcane deciphering. Reverse engineer the minor artifacts. Mm, don't want to do that. Not yet. Defense from armies. Let's do that. Faction influence gain one. And a deep space black site. A large part of the star base has been set aside as a black site that does not actually officially exist. All right, I see. So we can increase our governing ethics attraction. Speaking of, we got a new faction formed. What are they? They are Xenophile. Ugh. 45 supporters for Xenophile. Are you kidding me? Princess Appia or Empress Appius Caesar is leading it. What? What is this? We don't want to. We don't. Get rid of it. What do they want? Land grab? Enclaves? Incorporated? We're not getting any influence out of these. Can we suppress? Suppress this. It's directly opposing our ethics. How do we have so many? You've conquered another world. 13 pops on Gaia that are pacifist leading. Don't know how. I don't know where the attraction's coming from. Uh, pacifist. I don't get it. It's Oh, sorry, Xenophile, Xenophile. Empire has xenophobic governing ethics. Pop lives on planet with free Xenos. Oh, I see. Empire has migration treaties with Xenos. I see, I see. I see. So because we've opened up migration, because we've got other species that aren't in chains, there's a slight tendency for 11% of our over overall population to become uh, Xenophile. Now it's way more than 11% right now, so I wanna smash these uh, support down into the ground if we can. That costs us a lot of influence to do, but I just wanna do it for a while temporarily, see what, see if we can reduce that down. Fusion missiles have been um, researched. Droid technology. Droid technology would be good because we can actually land on the Gruner homeworld. System mineral refinery. Oh God, there's so many technologies that I wanna get. A large solar panel network. I thought we already had that. Let's go with this though. Let's go with droids. Is there anything that he's good at that we can get? No. All right, we'll go with droids then. That's going to allow us to colonize with them and then we'll use the new bowel life seeding eventually again. 
All right, where's our fleet? It's on its way. It's a little bit quicker now, getting across the systems. We are on fast speed, FYI. Elysium has a free build slot. Let's just get more commercial zones for now. And that can be improved. And then we're going to move pops here. Resettle. Any unemployed pops, basically, can just go to Elysium because it's a massive priority. Colonia Pacifica. It's got an unemployed robot. Well, this looks like it'll be mining central anyway. So let's just invest into that big time. All right, great. I think things are going pretty well. Energy's obviously falling pretty rapidly, but I think once we take out the pirate fleet, things will look a lot better. I'll start gathering the trade from these areas again. Uh, so, empire sprawl from systems to colonies is reduced. So we're at 238 right now. Let's see how much it goes down by. It went down by uh, about 20, 25. That's pretty good. We do need more admin offices on our bureaucratic world of Augusta. But we need three more pops out here before we can build another area. We do have empty building slots, but I've got people working the districts. I don't necessarily want to use the build slots right now. Because we'll promote things up and I, I don't really want to do that. We are making a lot of food. Construction online. Oh, something I meant to do, by the way. We have the minor artifacts. Let's uncover the secrets of the bowel. Unlocking a special project to delve deeper into the secrets of the bowel. Our scientists have begun a special project to study the deeper secrets of the precursors. Alright. Ten months. Let's find out more about them. And that's society research. So we're stopping the faction influence game thing for a while. That's fine. Have we started on the excavation again? Yeah, we have. The exile is out there doing his job. Oh, that's cool. They have their own... I... Wait, is that meant to be there? No, I don't think so. <laughs> it looks kind of cool. It looks like weird alien letters and writing, but it's actually just the, um, the straight line kind of directional arrow that's messed up. It actually kind of looks cool, though. Alright, let's play that music again. Here we go into the pirate station uh, area. I feel like we're slower in this system. So Gaius Menatius, with his increased sublight speed and his ship fire rate, is about to enter in to, com uh, to challenge. And also, this should be interesting to see. Will our Velites obey this artillery tactic and stay uh, back? I want to make sure they stay back in this combat. Kind of experimenting with that. I'll read this in a moment. We can leave it for just a moment. I want to watch the combat. All right, to Bernard start. We're here. Let's take out that base first and then the army. Or their fleet. Senate's now in session. Which one went through? Nice, the one I wanted to. Right, we're already uh, supporting it. So this one is to increase diplomatic weight from tech, which I think ours is one of the best. We haven't had a cinematic in a while. Engaging There they go, they're hanging back. Love to see it. Love to see it. Pirate station has been raided. 150 to 300 energy, or minerals as well. Yes, love that. So that's part of the NCS2 mod. That's really, really cool. Because they kind of do that in the game, but not to that extent. All right, we smashed the pirates. Let's see, did we lose any ships? We did not. Good showing for Gaius Minatius. Yep, excellent, great. Statius Pisentius is, was the pirate leader there. And he got wrecked. All right, we're back at Seoul. I guess we can uh, hang out there for a bit. Uh, let's create another trade hubs here. Is there trade hubs in this one? No. So this is going to be an improvement to shipyards. We more shipyards here. We could also start putting down some anchorages, just maybe. 
Four shipyards is pretty cool. Maybe an anchorage down here. I don't think we need more than... So, one, two, three. Uh, we could use all three, I guess. Trade hubs. If we want to collect all the trade in this available area. A fleet academy. Ship starting experiences increase. Yeah, let's put a fleet academy out down here. A starbase admin office. Starbase customs office. Governing ethics attraction is increased. Crime is reduced. Let's try that over at Saul as well. Actually, we don't need it on Saul because on Terra, uh, Empire Capital, governing ethics attraction, it's it's always like really high here, so we don't need that here. That would be much better utilized over Gaia. So let's try that. Starbase Customs Office, seen as we have migration, seen as it is a close bordering to the um, Maori, I think that'd be a perfect one to go with as well. Although all migration is negative 15%. Sure. Cost 10 influence just to put this down, actually. I've never seen a building like that. It's kind of cool. I'll have to look through some of these buildings on my own later. See what they can really do. A lot of them are new to me. New technology discovered. So, construction ship. Alright. Fleet's returning home. And the patrol fleet has stopped at Tiberium. We wanted to get to Saul and then move out. It was uh, time I keep pressing screenshot. It was meant to upgrade. Let's get a fourth ship into this fleet. Construction online. All right, great. Um, we're still researching the new bowel. I'm looking forward to seeing what comes up with that. We got our antimatter reactor now. Wormhole travel. Yes, please. Wormhole stabilization. A naturally occurring subspace wormhole is a fickle thing and its fluctuating energy levels typically make it impossible to travel safely between its linked apertures. There are ways to temporarily stabilize its matrix, however, so let's figure them out. Now, did we get the subspace... navigation? Maybe I didn't. I thought I did. Subspace navigation would be nice, so that we could send our scientists to a jump to another system, and then they could potentially go through a wormhole. Because we don't have any in our territory, but we know where there are some. There was... Isn't there supposed to be one out here? I can't even... I guess I can't see it anymore. Oh, yeah, because we had the uh, active sensors before, which we don't anymore. With the uh, Mari. Maybe they'll give it to us again. I'll give you, I don't know, some food. Would you like some food? Something else we can also do is call in a favor diplomatically. So if we ever want to lend their diplomatic weight to our own, we could use that. Let's do that now. Right, so archaeological dig site pending. Our team located the place where the unique signals are detected. It isn't easy, however, to reach the base since it's 12 kilometers below ground. Our team leader has requested authorization for an excavator. Search the place, emitting unique waves. There should be an entrance. Or... Dig it yourself. I oh, will go with this one. There should be an interest. Keep searching. It's a really cool star. Senate is now in session. Fleet combat status. All that good. All that stuff is good. Am I just playing the same songs over and over? I keep saying that this is weird. It's not going through everything. It's not on shuffle. Should play through all of these. They accepted. We know a good deal when we see one. The Koja Trade League accepts your terms. All right, we can see their stuff. They can see our stuff. They're not out in the system anymore. They, there was a wormhole out there. I'm so convinced of it. Maybe it's gone. I don't know if that's possible. All right, good. So once this fleet makes its... What is this? The Tyrian Republic fleet is here as well. Interesting. Wonder why they've come out. Okay, so now we can start our patrol again. So patrol from Saul all the way to Augusta. So we have our battleship down here. So that's 3.3k strength. And then we have our main fleet, which is 4.2k strength. And we have the ability to like improve it. Our alloys are getting a little bit better all the time. They're about to be even better soon. 
Are we producing moats? We are producing in excess of two moats, so we're totally capable of improving this building and sustaining it. What else are we producing? Our gas has been consumed as it's produced, so there's nothing there. Oh, that's not true, actually. We make a little bit extra, so 0.75 gas every month. Crystals is fine. Yeah, that's cool to know. All right, good. Our colony of Bragantium needs to figure out what's going to be, so build one of those. It would be nice to get a bit more energy going. Let's not, let's not get silly, but build a few of these districts would be nice. Still haven't got the like extra farm building. They can get more out of things. Uh, and this is Gaia. This is where we mostly, majority, uh, m the majority of pops we have here are the... Well, I don't want to say majority. We can see here humans are definitely the majority, but we have a lot of Nubal. 34%. There we go. I didn't know how to check it. 34% Nubal on this planet. Enslaved. Which is on all of you. <laughs> sort of. Not really. Uh, we could get another temple on Gaia. Increase that spiritualist attraction. Do we want to do that? I don't know. I don't know what to build here then. A senate house is always nice. For the stability in the admin cap. Yeah, let's do that. Alright. Good. Alright. Oh, I've been going quite a while. Secret to the Bowel. Speaking of the new Bowel. By carefully tracking the changes that the Bowel underwent during their loss of sentience, we've gained much knowledge on how to reverse that process. We've also gained new insights into the spread of plant life and improved our terraforming process. Um, hmm. Numeria Critilia now has the expertise biology trait. And we've got the technology for epigenetic triggers. Secrets of the Bowel modifier added given the following effects. Terraforming is now cheaper. Now it doesn't cost us anything for the terraforming we do with them. It's just influence. That's not proper terraforming. But epigenetic triggers. New technology discovered. So what does this do? Oh, it lets us uplift other species. Advanced DNA methylation techniques allow for functionality. Significant alterations to be made Oh, sorry, Function functionally significant alterations to be made to arbitrary genomes. And our tech is still going. That was just one on the side. All right, cool. Just a little improvement to terraforming speeds, I guess. But, like, I, I just don't think we're ever going to terraform anything. Unless we had so many plants that I need to just, like, activate terraforming ahead of time. But if we can always just turn it into the Gaia worlds, I feel like I'll just always do that. But I suppose the good thing with terraforming is you'd have multiple on the go at the same time. And there's like several planets here that we could be doing it to. How's the droid tech going? We're almost there. Oh, the colony is actually has touched down at Thule. Man, I didn't even talk about that. And it's set up? When did this happen? Just now? So at the beginning of this episode, I queued that colony ship, ship up to go to this planet. But the excavation wasn't even done yet. I was going to stop them before they went. But I guess they've set up. Nice, <laughs> I guess. It's like having it done for me. So this was the world that was a broken world. At least we thought so, but it turns out it was just projectors uh, hiding the fact that it was a Gaia world. And then we landed on it. Yet another Gaia world. And what's it got? Hidden world of the Astony. Yeah, so it's good at like physics and energy. Although it doesn't really have the districts for it. There you go. All right, we're up to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten colonies. A stellar performance. A popular musician from the Kosher Trade League has been topping their charts lately and has got even garnered some moderate success abroad. Looking to break through on a galactic scale, he has set his sights on a possible tour on Cicero. A part of the local population is stoked for what they consider to be a once-in-a-lifetime event, although there are some who claim his music is has a questionable influence on our youth. Deny him entry and ban his music for good measure which reduces happiness on several, for several of the pops. So four pops are unhappy, two pops are happy. The way he rumbles his gizzard is highly indecent, ban his filth. So four pops are, five pops, six pops are happy, four are unhappy. Strange. 
We shouldn't idolize vain individuals. It's our authoritarian. You think that would be that wouldn't really make sense? Oh no, sorry, I misread. This one is happiness. This one is governing ethics attraction. And this one is uh, governing ethics attraction as well as happiness. Let the planetary administration decide. You know what? Yep, I'm gonna I'm gonna bounce out of that one and let them figure it out. Hopefully, it's nothing too crazy. That was on Cicero. So, Governor Agrippa Pacillus, I'm trusting in you, you substance abuser, <laughs> to make a good choice, please. All right. So, our Gaia Starbase has finished its queue. Oh, it's construction. Let's get some medium solar panels up and running. module slot and this is on the calf station just go with an anchorage to help with that um, naval capacity because yeah, we'd need four trade if we wanted to get to Tau Ceti which is only three trade value there it's not really that worth it okay this ship is almost back now as well so let's tell them to uh, repair and upgrade And let's increase the amount of ships they have by two. So there we go. The first concert on tour. The Kozier band played in an open field under a radiant sun. On the festival, gr on the festival grounds, various groups of unwashed and sleep-deprived fans milled about, ingesting unhealthy amounts of intoxicating beverages and abusing questionable substances. This scene repeated itself on various locations on Cicero. <coughs> Excuse me always leaving a trail of refuse and trash in its wake. But everyone agreed they had a lot of fun. I don't understand the appeal, really. Construction online. It's kind of true. In some ways. There's the um, Tyrene Republic. It looks like they were actually coming to help us defeat the pirates out here. And now they don't know what to do because there's no more pirates. But that's kind of nice that they are coming to our aid with a similar size fleet. Yep, I'm convinced that that music is not playing correctly now. Because I had set it up here, and it just went all the way back up here. So that doesn't make any sense. There's definitely a bias to the Stellaris tracks. I found you out. Okay, our reinforcements are in transit just for like, some of these ships are like linking up together. I guess the problem is... Wow, that's a nice system. Um... These three Corvettes are just a little faster, or at the same speed as these. So it'll, it'll balance out eventually. They're basically leaving one Corvette behind. But they're in patrol. They don't have time to stop and let them catch up. Look at that. 100% trade value everywhere. No problems. No piracy problems. At least not immediately. Okay, good. New technology discovered. Senate currently in session. No one's really opposing this except the Dagatani Kingdom. Construction online. Okay, we have robotic assault armies now, droid workers, and small orbital drop pods as a component of ships, I think. Yeah. Alright, we can get level 3 armor. Civilian fabricators, finally! I've been waiting for this for so long. This will allow us to build up our consumer goods big time. We've got lots of extra crystals, so we can definitely invest them into making better consumer goods. So let's do that. So now we're making, yeah, three extra crystals. Okay, good. We have 700 crystals we could sell. So for instance, I wonder what the Kozier Trade League be interested in. Some of this stuff. Let's see. So here you go. Rare crystals. There's, I could give you 200. How many favors can you give me? I want all your diplomatic weight. We could get nine favors, giving us 10 total for 300 rare crystals. I'm going to take it. Because this means that whatever comes up next, if we really don't like it, we can slam down some favors and hopefully get away with it. We know a good deal when we see one. So they owe us 10 favors. So essentially, for those who don't know, if we were to call in a favor to boost our own diplomatic weight, we could do so. Now, every favor 
they're already supporting us anyway. They, they have to be either opposing it or abstaining, I suppose. Hmm, that's actually an interesting wrinkle to it. But yeah, if they're opposing or they're abstaining, we can then call in their diplomatic weight to add to our own. And each one, I think, will end up costing us something like 10 influence. It might be more than that, but I think that's how much it is. And plus, the crystals are just really passive. I don't mind giving some away like that. It's okay. Especially to a friend. Uh, Alright, I think that might have to be it. Turmoil in the Galaxy, the Dakarai Fragments are getting attacked by the Vazarin Hegemony. So let's just have a look really quickly before we wrap up. Our fleets are now equivalent with the Norilga Swarm. Our fleets are also positioned in the north now. Remember, of course, we have our battleship out here at Augusta, which I'd probably just merge into the main fleet and give them some orders to stay back, uh, keep their distance in the combat, just so the corvettes and things don't swarm it too much. But that's going to essentially give us almost a 10k fleet strength by the time we just build our fleet up just that little bit more if we were to push in. I think that's probably enough to wage a war. So I think I'm ready to go. And start really hammering the Norilga Swarm. And we could also bring our new legions up there as well. They're residing on Gaia, I think. No, sorry, they're on Colonia Egyptus. So Queso Tadius, he can make his way all the way up here. It's a vast distance to cover, but we could do it. And then we also have the Tyrene Republic right up here at the border, ready to help. So I think we're going to do... Although, the interesting thing is, I wonder will they give me the territory when they conquer it? Because, of course, they can't grow their own borders as a vassal. We'll have to find that out. So I think I'm going to, I'm going to get ready for this Norilga attack. Because there is so much territory out here. Look at all this stuff we can get. Not just that, but the scientific gains are too good to pass up. What do we have out here? A Gaia world, of course. Uh, a continental world, perfect. A relic world. Hello! <laughs> Why isn't the Senate clamoring for a Norilga war? Look at this beast. And a wormhole. Yeah, I know what we're doing. We are gathering the legions, gathering the alloys, and we're going to be pushing towards a Norilga swarm attack, if not in the next episode, but the one after, unless something comes up. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.